Are you really listening to your record collection? Let me explain. We live in a world of constant distraction. In a 2023 article on Fortune, the publication reported that we check our phones an average of 144 times a day. Osta123 left a comment on my How I Choose What to Listen to video stating, I'd love to see a video about what people do while they play records at home. Household chores, video games, sit and stare at album cover and lyrics. Actually, those are pretty much the things I do. This video is for you. I'm going to go through 10 very common things people tend to do while listening to records. Let's keep the discussion going. Beyond these 10 things, what else do you do? And let me know your guilt level. In other words, are you guilty of not actually listening to your records? Are you sitting back and devouring everything about the music? Or are you distracted by one of the other 5,000 things at your fingertips? My guess is the latter. And I'm going to share with you my guilt level as well. And it kind of shocked me. Here we go. Number one is read a book or magazine. If you're a bookworm, this is probably you. I've done this one in the past from time to time, and yes, it does kind of take me away from the music, but it also kind of helps me relax and kind of get my mind off of things. You are such a nerd. Number two is do household chores. Now, this is kind of an interesting one, and it's a little bit dependent on where you have your turntable. My turntable is upstairs. I can't necessarily do a bunch of the household chores up here. Number three, cook a meal. Because of the proximity of my record player to my kitchen in my old place, I did that one a lot. Now that, my friends, is the essence of cooking. I was always putting on a record or two to spin while I was prepping dinner, cooking with friends, any of those kinds of things. Number four, watch YouTube videos, watch TV, a movie. This is a little bit tricky because now you're getting some competing audio in. It's different than reading a book or magazine where you're actually just reading it, but having competing audio, that kind of complicates things. Do you do that? I, I, I do. Frequently. I don't even know you, but I'm gonna tell you that's dumb. If you are listening to a record while you're watching this video, you're guilty of it too. Number five, doom scroll social media. Now uh, that includes TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, all of those other social platforms that aren't YouTube. Easy to do, it's easy to go down those rabbit holes with any of those. And then before you know it, you gotta get up and flip that record over to side B. Number six, work. Given that my office is my record room, I do this a lot now. In fact, I listen to an average of seven, eight, sometimes even nine or ten different records every single day while I'm working. Number seven, write or create something. As I do videos here on YouTube, I am often scripting out something or I am taking notes and bullet pointing out what I want to do on a video while I have a record playing. Once again, no surprise there. Surprise, surprise, princess. Next, talk on the phone. Do you often put on a record and then give someone a call or take a call while you're listening to a record and just let that go on? Question I have for you, if you're this person, let me know down in the comments. Do you pause to flip over the record mid-call? Do you pause to change the record if the call is a long one? I bet you do. I know I would. Next, play video games. Why not? If you have an entertainment room and you're listening to records, it's easy to grab that controller and put on that TV and play the game. I'm, I'm curious if that's you, how do you adjust the volume? Do you tend to crank up the music a little bit and kind of downplay the volume on the game? Or do you crank up the game volume and downplay the music? All right, next, final one on, on this part of the list is read liner notes, lyrics, and other things from the packaging. 
I, I don't know about you, but I, I like doing that a lot. That's probably one of one of my favorite ways to listen to my records is to dig into the artwork. I mean, that's one of the reasons I love collecting records is it comes with extra packaging. Sometimes you get insert booklets with lyrics, you get stories, all of those things I love digging into. And if you watch my Poetic Wax series right here on YouTube, uh, you can kind of get a taste of some of that in that kind of content that I create as well. Here's what I'm guilty of more often than not. Nine out of 10, that's almost every damn one. The only one I don't do is video games because I don't own video games and I'm just not a video game person. Rarely do I actually just sit down and only listen to records and nothing else. And I would say that probably nine out of 10 of you are the exact same way if you listen to your records at all. Are you actually listening to your records? I'd like to know. How guilty are you of those 10 things? How many do you do? Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell. I'm Andy, this is the Fence Post Final Channel. I'll catch you in that next video.